chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again let us take a few problems that involve trains and a dot object by dot object i mean that these problems will involve one train and anything that doesn't have any length like a pole or boy walking or a cat running so these problems will be of the type of trains of the pole and walking man problems these will not involve two trains only one train and one dot object so let us take some simpler examples a train whistles when it is at a certain distance from a tunnel x y a cat is sitting inside the tunnel at a distance of 5 by 12 of the length of the tunnel as measured from the entrance x if the cat runs towards the entrance the train catches it at point x that is it catches it at the entrance and if it runs towards the exit then the train catches it at the point y which is the exit point what is the ratio of the speed of the train to that of the cat one thing that i want you to keep in mind when you take problems of the mathematics type that in such types of problems the diagram is very important if you draw the diagram correctly then half your battle is won and we have to read each and every line carefully also a train whistles when it is at a certain distance from a tunnel xy so we have been given a tunnel and let us draw that tunnel as x y this is the tunnel we can draw a line joining them okay next he says a cat is sitting inside the tunnel at a distance of 5 by 12 of the length of the tunnel as measured from the entrance x so a ratio has been given we can simplify the story by saying it is 5 by 12 times the length of the tunnel that is what this has been given to us we can assume that the length is some multiple of 12 the exact length hasn't been given so in case at a later point the length is required then we can apply the unitary method at that point so presently we can start by assuming that the length will be 12 km so that 12 and 12 cancel and we get the cat sitting at 5 km and 7 km are towards the other side of the cat i'll mark it as the cat that is sitting at this point some of you might be still confused at how i have taken this length on what basis have i taken this length look he says cat is sitting inside the tunnel at a distance of 5 by 12 of the length of the tunnel as measured from the entrance x so what he says is that if the length of the tunnel is l then the cat is sitting at a distance of 5 l by 12 from the start of the tunnel you could have easily taken l also there would have been no problem at all but only some calculation must get longer in that case if you are comfortable with this no problems now why i have taken this instead of l i have taken 12 the whole point is that 12 and 12 will cancel out and i will get round figures here this is on the same pattern as we do our profit and loss when we assume let the cost price be 100 or so and later on we apply unitary method so in case we need we will apply the unitary method on the figure of 12 which we have assumed at this point okay so let us see that the cat is sitting at a distance of 5 km from x and 7 km are left on the other side because the total length of the tunnel has been taken as 12 now he says a train whistles when it is at a certain distance from the tunnel xy so a train is at this point and a train is coming towards the entrance of the tunnel and it whistles at this point 
now naturally when it uh, whistles the cat will hear that sound and the cat either runs towards x or it runs towards y he has given both the cases if the cat runs towards the entrance the train catches it at point x now the whole thing is that the train is at this point let us suppose the distance at which the train whistles is d if this distance is d then the cat runs towards the x point and both the train and the cat they meet each other now what we do is we'll calculate the time in which the train reaches from this point to x and we'll also calculate the time in which cat reaches to this point and on the basis of that we'll set up one equation let us do that let us suppose the speed of the train is v meters per v units no units have been given so we can simply take it as v and let us suppose the train is traveling at a speed of u the speed of the train is uh, cat is u and the speed of the train is v now in how much time will this train reach this point x the time will be obtained by the speed distance formula the distance is d so time taken by the train will be d divided by v this is the time in which this train will reach this point distance divided by the speed and in how much time will the cat reach this point it will cover a distance of 5 and divide it by its speed we get 5 by u now this is one equation that we have set up he says what is the ratio of the speed of the train to that of the cat this means we are required to find out v upon u this is what we require so let that ratio be r then we can say d is equal to 5 multiplied by v by u which is equal to 5r where r is the required ratio so d is 5r this is one equation that we get in this case now let us attend to the right side when the cat hears the whistle it will move towards y now what is the distance this train will have to cover how much distance this d it will have to cover along with this 12 so the total distance that will be covered by the train will be d plus 12 and how much time will it take again d plus 12 by its speed it will reach y after d plus 12 by v time units from this diagram you can see that the distance between this point and y will be 7 plus 5 plus d which gives d plus 12 and divide by the speed of the train it will give me the time taken by the train to reach this point y now if the cat is running towards y it has to cover a distance of 7 km because it is already positioned at a distance of 7 km from y and its speed we have taken as u so we can set up with because the time they are it has been given that they take the same time to meet at a point y so d plus 12 divided by v will be equal to 7 divided by u which implies d plus 12 is equal to 7 v by u simple mathematics which is equal to 7 r next we can bring in d from this d was already taken as 5r so we will put 5r plus 12 is equal to 7r which implies 5r can be taken to the other side 12 is equal to 7r minus 5r which is equal to 2r which implies r is equal to 6 so the required ratio will be 6 is to 1 this is how we can solve this question it requires simply what i have already said is the crucial crucial point is this diagram otherwise there is no mathematics involved simple pluses and minus are required so this is how you should take these questions confidence is very important when you start to take these questions let us take our next question A train crosses two girls walking opposite to it in 36 and 30 seconds respectively. 
So probably in this question there are two different cases. One girl walks at uh, is uh, crossed at 36 seconds. The other is crossed at 30 seconds in two different cases. What is the length of the train if the speeds of the girls are three and six kilometers per hour? Now this is a typically easy question which uh, we have to take two cases and they will give us an equation from where we'll be able to determine the length of the train. So let us now start by converting this and this into meters per second because these are seconds and we'll convert these units into meters per second. So we'll write speed of one girl is how much three kilometers per hour and we can multiply it by 5 by 18. You know 5 by 18 will convert it into meters per second. Remember that when you want to convert kilometers per hour into meters per second, you have to multiply it by 5 by 18. This will give us 5 by 6 meters per second. A bit awkward figure but don't worry, some cancellations will always occur. The speed of other girl, speed of second girl, on the same lines will be it is 6 kilometers per hour multiply it by 5 by 18 and you get 5 by 3 meters per second so this is one girl speed and this is other girl speed now let us draw our diagram to see how we will proceed this is our case one in which one girl is moving towards this side at a speed of 5 by 6 meters per second. She is the slower girl and a train is coming towards this side. Let the speed of the train be V meters per second and let the length of the train be L. L will be in meters. So this train has to cross this girl and it crosses in the girl in how much time? 36 seconds because this is a slower girl. So time taken is 36 seconds is already given to us in case 1. Now we know from the video that I gave you earlier that the time taken by a train to go past a man who is approaching it or going in the same direction that time can be obtained by writing the formula as length of the train divided by the speed of the train relative to the person it is crossing. Now in this case what is the relative speed of this train with respect to this girl? They are moving in the opposite direction so the relative speed will be V plus 5 by 6. The speeds will add up because they are moving in the opposite direction. Let us put T is equal to 36 in this equation. We will get 36 is equal to L by V plus 5 by 6 which implies we can take this to the other side. It will give us 36V plus 5 by 6 will cancel. 6 will cancel with 36 plus 30 is equal to L. This is one equation that we get in this case. In case 2, we will get a similar equation. Case 2, the other girl is moving at 5 by 3 and the time taken is 30. So natural, we can just directly look at this. Everything else is same. So we can write L divided by V plus 5 by 3 is equal to 30 which implies L is equal to 30 V plus 50 because 5 by 3 into 30 when they cancel out you get how much 50 3 10 and this will be 50. This is the second equation. What do we have to find? we have to find out the length of the train. We have to solve these two simultaneous equations and we'll get the length of the train. How can we solve? L is given equal to this also and L is given equal to this also. We can simply equate the figures. 36V plus 30 is equal to 30V plus 50 which implies take 30 to this side, 30 to that side. 36V minus 30V is equal to 50 minus 30 equal to 20 which implies 6v is equal to 20 v is equal to 20 by 6 now this v can be put into equation 2 
So L will be 30 multiplied by 20 by 6 plus 50. 30 and this will cancel at 500, 150 meters. This is the answer to this question. So this was a pretty simple question. We had to solve these two simultaneous equations. You should have a good practice in solving simultaneous equations. That is a must if you are to clear these exams. Let us now proceed on to our next example. Chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point. For DVD, pen drive, please write an email to me. These videos, they do not require internet, they play offline, there is no problem of buffering. And please subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Thank you, thank you for your support once again.